Hi team, uh, today I'm going to show you a home interval program. Um, we've got a warm up which includes some sort of like strength kind of exercises that we usually do in PT. Then we've got leg warm up and then we've got a circuit of four exercises. And I'll explain that when I get to it, but we'll just do the warm up together. So walk out push up down with dog inchworm and then you can chuck any other bits you want in there. And just let me demo. Okay, so walk out push up. Down the dog, inchworm, if you need to bend your knees you can, so there's that. Um, you can add stuff in, for example a T push up, you can do all this on your knees as well, warming up, you can add scorpions. You can also add kickouts. Whatever you want. Do your sequence. Ah. Okay, so a few of those to warm up. And then we're into um, lunge, Superman and Star. Lunge, Superman. Star. From the front, lunge, Superman, star. Okay, probably like three per leg. Then we're into dynamic stretching, so arm and leg swings. Nice. Leg swings. Also, I built a workout out for me that I'm going to do. But you can use any exercises on Instagram. Obviously, the more dynamic they are, the more you, they get your heart rate up. And I always recommend a mix of exercises. So I've got, whoops whole body exercises in. So you can tell these videos aren't edited because I make mistakes. Um, I've got whole body exercises in, I've got core, jumping and I've got arms. So you just put a whole range of things in and then your heart has to shunt blood to different parts of your body, which means it has to work harder. So you breathe more and you get a better bang for buck. Okay, opening, closing the gate. About 10 per side. And we got torso twists. So these are uh, dynamic stretches, so I do for most workouts, or I do some dancing. Dancing is also outstanding for a warm up. Get all your bits moving. All right, so we're talking through it. It's a circuit of four exercises, and it's two minutes per round. We set a rest. Uh, sorry, we set a interval timer that goes off every two minutes, and you've got to start the new round every two minutes. Whatever's left over is your rest. So when you're picking your exercises and choosing your repetitions, run through it once and see if you've got maybe a minute or 45 seconds rest after you finish them. As you get more tired, your rest might get less. So you've got to try and keep your speed during the workout, push yourself so that you keep getting rest. Um, I've done interval training before where I kept like the last three rounds I was just ticking over just getting through it to go into the next round. It was okay because it was the last three rounds but if you're doing that round one you won't survive. So some of these quite low reps because I know I'm going to burn out quickly. 
Um, so yeah, just play around with the number of repetitions and the type of exercises and make sure you don't get a part of your body fatiguing too quickly so it slows down too much and that you um, are doing enough reps to feel like you're doing something but not so much that you're not getting any rest. So I've got some options here for the different exercises which I'll talk through. Um, I'm doing 10 grunts. A grunt is a, is a jump and then a jump out to a plank. Um, you can do straight jump and a plank jump out or a plank walk out. So this is a full grunt. Okay, so it's a straight jump and then a jump out to a plank. Now you can separate them out if you want and just do straight jumps and then you can do a jump out to a plank. So separate them out or you can do a plank walk out. That's also fine. Um, just options. You don't even have to use the grunt or the plank walk out or the straight jump or anything. You can pick something else. Next one I have is a V snap. V snap looks like this. There's also a version where you tuck your knees and there's a version of, you, you can sub out V snap and just do crunches. So this is also fine. Next I have a tuck jump. Now if tuck jumps are a no-go, you can do squats. Make sure they're, they're dynamic, or you can do jump squats. Okay, soft landing for any jumping that you do. Um, next one I have is a chin up, and I've, I've put this up here, a towel, and I'm just gonna do chin ups either side of that. You can hang off a door, you could do an isometric hold on the door. Um, if you've got a rail, you can do body rows. Um, yeah. And then I've got rest. So they're my four exercises. There are heaps on Instagram. You can go and um, take a look. And yeah, 10 rounds back to back. Let's go.